Welcome to another podcast, another episode of Życie bez gruchy, Life Without Purse. And today we have a real young hustler, real no gruha from Madeira, a Polish no gruha. So that makes him even, even more real when it comes to no gruha. He's the, um, I would say, the real example because uh, I don't know how old is he, but he looks like 15. I thought the show is for like people 18 and above, you know, adults, but uh, maybe you'll tell us, uh, you know, how old is he? But anyway, he's the real deal, very ambitious, young crypto influencer. And I know a lot of people think that, you know, when we talk about crypto influencers, that's uh, shilling and scammers and people that are that are just pushing projects. And, uh, and they just want to take your money, right? So, so there's, a, there's a truth to that, but uh, hopefully we're going to get uh, like behind the scenes and why, you know, like why, why do we have crypto influencers? What do they do really? What's their role? Why do we need them? And uh, what can we learn, f- learn from them? So uh, Crypto Costa, welcome to the show. Hi, hi. Really, really nice to be here. Pleasure. It's crazy because I wanted to record in Polish because most of our people are listening in Polish. But he said, no, 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 no. We're, we're doing more in yeah. English. We, yeah. I hope that uh, we're going to reach more people because of that. That's your first podcast, right? Yes. And I hope, you know, my, my, my audience will, will be able to come here and listen to some some stuff in English. Yeah. Because my, my yeah, audience so, is mostly from US and UK. Perfect. Yeah. So that's, that's amazing. Cause most of our clients actually, I, I, you know, I don't know if you, if you know, but, uh, we have a software business and uh, most of our clients are based in the UK and the US. So that's perfect when it comes to the overlap. Uh, but let's start with the first question. I have a li- I have a list of like questions that I prepared and, uh, I know you're Polish. I mentioned about that. And uh, maybe let's start with the first like warm up question, which is uh, what what is the role of a crypto influencer? Because you're amazing, like the way you're doing that, the way you're like, uh, I'm like, God damn it. Like, uh, no, nah, no, no, no. I'm missing a lot boring. of things. But so what's the what's the role of uh, influencers in crypto? It's it's easy, you know, but I would I would say there are two groups of influencer. First, first group of crypto influencers are people who actually teach you and give you real value when it comes to cryptocurrency market. And there's the the second group, which is more um, pushing projects, pushing the, when it comes to the marketing. But what's the role? I would say when it comes to new crypto project, because that's my main, fo- my main focus on my YouTube channel and basically in investing. So new crypto, just starting projects, because that's the, that's the place where you can make a lot of access and without that stress comparing to uh, day trading on leverage, etc. Um, but yeah, I would say, uh, pushing the projects, pushing the projects when it comes to marketing and, uh, and yeah, the teaching the masses and, and crypto adoption about it. Awesome. Yeah. So basically you're, uh, the, the, there's a bigger picture to that, not only shilling projects uh, and then uh, some, some sort of, you know, stereotype that people have in mind. And a lot of people, I was uh, talking to a girl, actually, I met uh, in Miami, just came fr- came back from Miami. I was there for the Bitcoin conference. And uh, and then uh, before the Bitcoin conference, I went to another conference with a lot of billionaires. Uh, and uh, and there was a one girl in, in, she's a sort of creative, she teaches music. And she said that, uh, oh, I, I invested some money into one of the like crypto projects and I and I pretty much lost all of it. And I'm like, all right, so uh, it's probably some small cap, not Bitcoin, not Ethereum. And and she said, yeah, yeah. And then, and I said, yeah, yeah, but why did you give up? Like, why did you quit? There's still a lot of opportunities. And uh, so maybe, you know, let's talk about risks because there are risks, especially you're, you said um, you're mostly focused on the smaller cap, right, projects. So maybe explain what's what's a, what's a small cap project. Basically, small projects are projects with small market cap. So usually they are just starting, or there are like uh, startups, small crypto startups. But yeah, true, there is a huge risk when it comes to this, and but the 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 huge reward as well. Like you can make a hundred x on just starting project, and you won't make it. Probably won't make it on Ethereum or Bitcoin or top 
50 projects, right? But uh, yeah, and that's that's true. There is really big risk and I've shown a couple projects that were rock pulls that, that didn't go well on my channel as well. But I've I've shown a um, couple projects that made uh, like 260x, for example, MetaHero on my on my YouTube channel or uh, Everdome 90x or um, the future project Fame. I'm not going to shield this here, but it's going to be... Probably no, shill it, shill it, shill it, shill it all, you know. No, we basically all, it's, we all, we all basically it's, it. yeah, basically it's another project that's, that's probably going to do many X's because it's, it's going to be launched on Tencent Launchpad, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking about like, there's a lot of names that, uh, our people may or may not be familiar with. I, I kind of, you know, I, I kind of know what, what are those projects. But again, I'm not uh, too much into details. So what I understand your role is to navigate people, to be the captain, kind of, to be the guide on YouTube, online, where they can go and watch pretty much every day or every every few days an update from you, right? That's that's exactly. how you operate. That's the Let's that's say, the let's drill. say, yeah. If I, if I get some nice project, I could show it. Of course, there are some projects that pay well and I'm showing them as well. I'm not going to lie, but this is crypto. So you always like, this is the message for all people investing in small caps. Never believe it to YouTubers, never believe to influencers. And cause, um, some projects can, can pay well. And even, even though I say that I'm not a financial advisor in every video that people shouldn't buy any token only because I'm buying this and always do your own research. That's a very important part of it. Cause, um, yeah, even if, if some projects are looking nice, are looking promising, they can still rock pull you and never, never exist anymore. Yeah. So, so, so you're, you're the guide where you kind of, you give them those small projects that there is huge upside. There's Potential. a huge reward. Potentially, yeah. Potentially, potentially. Potentially, yeah. But and a huge risk as well. And you're guiding them so they so they don't need to go and find those projects. Yeah. You you're doing the legwork, like you you're, you're gonna check the the company. You're gonna check what they're doing, and and and, and you see uh, the potential, and then you share with your audience. And that's why you have over what twenty k, twenty one k on YouTube. Currently twenty five k. Twenty five k, twenty five thousand. Yeah. And how can I ask you how how old are you? I can't say. <laughs> you can't say. Sorry, but 15, I can't say. Right? I, I wish. Uh, yeah, 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 more like 13. I wish I could say you, but when you're super young in business, sometimes you need to tell to the others that you're older than you actually are because okay. people won't treat you like a real Seriously. guy. You know? Okay. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so I got that's, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's your strategy. So that's your strategy. That's your strategy. So so let's 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 assume that you're 15 or 13, but uh, but you have the knowledge of like... Uh, Eight year old that's uh, that's uh, like um, that's in the future, you know. So like the yeah, the wizard, age doesn't really matter. Let, let's be honest, yeah. age doesn't really matter in crypto in business. Like I was fourteen when I started my first business. So, so yeah, so let's yeah. let's go. Let yeah, that that's a, that's a, that's a good segue. So let let's go back to like you're fourteen. Number one, where are you? Number two, what are you thinking to yourself? What business? And uh, number three, um, was it? in your native language? Cause obviously we're not native English speakers. Back when I was, I was, I think 12 or 13, I was already like looking online, how to make money, how to make money as 13 years old, etc. I was looking for confirmations as well. Let's say I was, um, typing in YouTube, 13 years old millionaire. And yeah, I was, I was broke. I had nothing, of course, cause you're 13 years old and my, my parents are normal people going to some basic, uh, basic job. Yeah. And yeah, what I started where, doing where, is. Where, where, so where were you born? Where were you born? Like, and wh where are you then? You're, you're, you're 12, you're 13, you're Googling uh, and YouTubing and where, yeah, where it was, are you physically? It was in Poland, um, quite a small city in Poland. And yeah, then I started, uh, buying used clothes and selling them online. And that's how I started. I was making really small profits, let's say 10 euro on each, on each t-shirt or something. Yeah. And then I moved to recent bicycles. So I would buy a real cheap bicycle and sell it for profit. And then I was making actually more money. 
Uh, so it could, so sometimes I even had 10 X on one bicycle. Imagine <laughs> so I'd buy a uh, bicycle for, let's say 25 ten euro. times, 10 times, right? Yeah. 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 And resell it for 250 euros. So for, and back then I was like 16. So for 16 year old, I could, I could sell like, um, 10 bicycles per month. It was a, a good money and I was spending this money on traveling. So and uh, it was back when I was how in did you, high school. How, how, did, how, did, how did you travel when you were like, uh, no, no, say, I was, I, I was 16 then I was 16. Okay. So but traveling inside Poland or outside? No, no, no. Also? I was, I was in, in Europe. So I visited like 20 countries, um, from 16 to 18 or something. And I was mostly traveling a solo. Cause of course there is nobody that could go with you when you're 16, like your friends are, are broke. Weren't you, weren't you scared? Most of the people, I, I was scared, man. When I was like, I was growing up in an orphanage in, uh, back in Poland, in Krakow. I would be scared to leave Poland. Really? You know, I wanted I to travel, know. but I didn't, I didn't have money. I, I wasn't as smart as you, you know, that's why I think you have 25 K and I have only one K, you know, <laughs> all Come the on, people. You, you'll get there. You'll get there. It's, but, um, yeah. So let's go back to you. Let's go back to you. So you're traveling, you're, um, in, you're, in, you're, you're in high school. So we know that you're 16. So at least we got confirmation here. <laughs> I'm not at least 16. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what, yes. what, uh, is it like, is it like you're traveling for your fir first adventure, you know, like you're going to have your first sex and, um, first my girlfriend or no, my, my first travel was actually to Azores islands and I was, uh, and I was, yeah, 16, my first solo travel and it was huge. Like I really loved it. I was there for two weeks solo and I was huge hiking. I had no money and uh this kind of op opened the doors for me and i was like all right this is not that uh, not that difficult you go on a plane you fly and you have amazing time right so yeah i was resetting these bicycles and then um, i've been doing this for yeah i i was doing th this bicycle business for two years and then i invested money made from bicycles into crypto wow and, and how how did you get into that like how how you you what 17 can we uh, say like 17 or 16 or you're young yeah. you're young yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're under you're, you're you're under like the the legal adult 18 which is said by you know by by law and uh, and culture and whatever yeah. so 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 i've noticed crypto somewhere i started to really reading about this and i spent like i spent like uh, i would say four months just grinding and learning about crypto every day for couple hours, like six, what, 10 what, hours. What, what year was that? Can you reveal? <laughs> but if I reveal this, people are going to know how, how old I am. I am so. Yeah, that, that's what <laughs> okay. we want to know, man. That's what, that's what I'm trying to do all the time. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so, so yeah. let's say you're, you're like a high school, around high school, right? Or is it after that? Uh, when I was, when I was reading about yeah. crypto. No, it was, yeah, it was yeah. end of high school. I was like 18. Okay. Yeah. I okay. Was like 18. Okay, good. All right. And then I've invested in my first project and I'm after one month, it was 30 X. So when I got 30 X from, from one project, I was like, all right, I want to, I'm closing this, uh, bicycles business and I'm going hundred percent into crypto. What did and your parents what say? What did your parents, what did your friends say? Did you like, like, you know, they, did you, did you tell people like, did you brag about it? About what? About crypto? Like, uh, yeah, like about crypto, about like the, the money, like, did they ask you, like, wh where do you get your money from? And, and uh, so, so back then I had only really a, a little friends. I had like maybe three or four friends because I was really focused into business and I was already, um, I had this proper mindset that I wasn't really going out. I wasn't really meeting all these That's people awesome, that man. were bringing me down. Yeah. So some people knew. Uh, but yeah, my parents had nothing to say because I was already 18. Right. So okay. I made my own decision and then, um, I moved out and sometime after I, I started this YouTube channel. So you moved out, you invest like the money that you made initially, you put into crypto, you focused all your energy and then all your focus only into crypto. You opened the YouTube channel which is uh, like another challenge. Cause you're like, now you, now you're showing your face. You're showing like, no, no, no. It was the same channel that I'm, I'm doing now. Yeah. 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 That's, that's so, 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 but you, you, you have to like extrovert. So you're like, you're young. Like when I was your age, I was so scared to show myself on the camera. And then I know, I know people now 
they're 40, they're 50, and they're still scared. They were like, dude, I would never show myself on the camera. Like, I was, I was so scared. So where did you get all that inspiration? And, uh, and number one, mindset. Like, when I was, uh, you know, your age, 18, like, you know, I'm thinking, obviously, I'm, I was focused on, on my career. Uh, but, you know, like, all the hormones are buzzing, you know, like, oh, where can I get sex? Where can I get this? Where can I, uh, maybe I'm going to go party, you know, or something like that. Maybe I'm just going to take it easy. Although I was still focused. I was very focused. But there was distractions. Did you have any distractions? Or like you're just like a robot. When it comes to girls, yeah. I mean anything, girls? like because because you're young, you know. So like when you're young, like the number one thing is distractions, like obviously hormones, right? So so that's number one thing, like. So yeah, of course difficult. there were there were distractions, but still, like if you have this goal that, and you really want something really badly, because at the end of the day, this is what's what matters. If you want something really yeah. badly or no, and then if you want something really really bad. You have no distractions and you focus 100% on the on this, you know. So you didn't have like, uh, you, you had the goal that sort of pulled you all the yeah. time. And then where did you exactly. get the idea to go and open the YouTube channel? Like, did you think about the, about this as a business right away? Yeah, 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 of course. From from okay. the day one, I was, was like, it, so yeah, this is going goal, to be... Like, ver- that, that, that's very structural. Like, you were very intentional what you're doing. Because in this period when I was really reading about crypto, I've noticed that there is so much opportunity when it comes to crypto, when it comes to crypto marketing and being a crypto influencer. And there still is a lot of space for crypto, for young people, if they want to join crypto or if they want to become an influencer or do something in marketing, because it's really just the beginning. And if you see marketing is very specific, like um, it's very easy now to do fundraises in crypto, all of that stuff. So you had to... Probably, I, I don't know, you've noticed that that's a trend or you've noticed that, you know, someone inspired you to open a channel and you're like, okay, I'm going to make a business out of that. Like, Yeah, so actually I, on bicycles, I was making a good money. But from when when I was, um, since I was in, in the f- uh, first school, in primary school, I knew that I don't want to live in Poland. I knew that I want to travel a lot and I knew that I don't want to go to university. So on bicycles, I was doing good money, but I had to stay in Poland. So I was thinking about a way to actually do something remotely and make good money and travel. So my first goal was like, all right, I want to make at least this money that I'm doing on bicycles, but I, I want to do it remotely so that I can travel so that I can live in a nice place. But it turned out to be a really big business and there's no limits now. So, yeah. That's awesome, man. So uh, that leads me to another question because I had uh, Robert from our team when we were getting ready for the for the podcast. And uh, by the way, before I, you know, I go and ask you another question, I want to say thank you to Wojtek, who was on our uh, was just on our on our channel uh, and uh, amazing guy. And he, mm-hmm. uh, and, yeah, yeah, amazing guy and um, and he made the connection so so we could uh, get to know each other and actually uh, you could give us some of your time to uh, maybe inspire, you know, other guys and uh, and also teach people about w- what's the role of a crypto influencer and then w- w- what's the bigger picture. So, um, so that's our goal here. But uh, my, my my next question is because uh, Robert from our team, like Robert, comes to me and says, "Is that guy Polish?" And I said, "Yeah," because you you responded uh, in Polish to one of the emails. But he was checking your YouTube and he didn't know, like he thought literally, he thought that you're not Polish. Like he didn't know, like who, who, who's that guy? And I didn't know, like initially, number one, you do, you do not look like, you know, kind of typical Polish. Your accent is not Polish. I think you have de- definitely different approach than most of the people in Poland that I know. I, I'm going to kind of, you know, generalize now. So I'm going to say Polish people are kind of very... I would say, you know, there's a lot of complexes. I, I've been through that, that we have, number one. Number two, I think we're overeducated. You said you did not go to a university. Most of the Polish people still to this day, their goal is to go to the university. And after university, now maybe we'll think about our career and we're going to, and, we, and we'll find, you know, the job that we want to have. You, you know, we're going to focus on our career. So you, did, you didn't do that. And then also just so, so people know, you know, like when I look at Polish people, they're kind of 
kind of close, you know, like mo most, most of them, like young people. So I think you're going to be amazing inspiration like to show them that you can go outside of Poland, you can do business worldwide, as you said, you can travel, you don't need to be dependent on one place. And that's amazing. So let's talk about like, how did you learn English? And uh, was it also part of your goal? Or you were for just sure. always good at English? No, I was terrible. But for, for sure, I <laughs> I didn't learn it in, in school. So thanks to all these travels that I told you in, in mm -hmm. high school, yeah. I was I had kind of this this confidence to speak in English. But That's I can amazing. tell you, uh, I was one of the worst um, one of one of the worst students in my school. I would say in top it's crazy, top right? three worst worst students. And Think I about had, the guys. Stop here for a moment. Think about the guys that were the best when it comes to grammar. Like, because I remember guys who had like you know the the highest grade in school and they're like perfect grammatically, like they could just destroy you when it comes to grammar. And you look at their lives and they're just, they've not done anything in their lives. Yeah, so I so remember. Yeah, so, 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 so how did you learn, like other than the traveling and then, you know, getting your courage, nothing, building nothing. that? Nothing, really. Did you, was, did you do any, any courses or something? Yeah, I did like a course when I was 16, but it was only for three months or two months. It was like additional lessons. Um, and, and, and basically school and traveling, but I would say traveling and watching videos on YouTube in English, that what gave me the most when it comes to learning English. Um, but yeah, I can tell you, um, I remember this, this one lesson in my school, in my high school, when teacher asked like, uh, is there somebody thinking of not going into university and nobody raised a hand? So. I know from my high school, maybe only one person didn't go to university. So, and there was like 300 uh, people or 400 people. So that's the mentality, unfortunately in Poland. And, but for me, actually it's an advantage when somebody says, oh, I didn't go to university because that has to mean that you're doing something nice, something unique, something, something cool instead of like every, every ships, I would say, you know? Yeah. Like the ship will do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but there is, of course, there are still, of course, uh, disadvantages when it comes to doing business and a lot of stress. So it's not for everybody, but I would say you have to just be open-minded and think about other ways to ways of life instead of just like boom, high school, university, shitty job, stay in the same place entire entire life. So who is your uh, listener when it comes to your YouTube? You have 25,000 people and on average, what, what do you get? Like 5k, 10k per, per no, video? I'll, depending on what I post about, but I would say from 2k to, to 20k views per video. Kind and of, yeah. is, is there like the metric of views? Is that the, the, the most important metric for you? What, what do you look for when it comes to the, the YouTube business? I, I look for money. <laughs> I love this dude. I love this guy. I love this guy, man. But, I love this. Uh, yeah, that's the honestly, best answer you could give. Honestly, like YouTube channel gets you, gets you open doors for allocations in, yeah. in projects that you you really want, and yeah. it gets you money because people pay you to to record video about attention, your project. Uh, yeah? att attention. So that's part of yeah. your brand, right? It just and opens many, the doors. Many people don't know, but actually. I would say crypto, crypto niche, crypto YouTube influencer niche is, mm -hmm. I think the most paid niche on YouTube because so all these So how do you get, get money? Is it because of the sponsor, the, the sponsored project? So that's number one. Number two would be the YouTube ads. Is that part of it as that's well? That's nothing. Or not? That's nothing. That's nothing. Okay. <laughs> that's so really nothing. So only like s s sponsors, right? So, sponsor, so, so, so sponsored videos, um, Links to so how does it? So let, let's let, let's yeah. spill the let's spill the be, the the beans and let's uh, you know. I'll get you some insights. The, yeah, how, how, yeah. Let, give us some insights and uh, tell us how does how how is the sausage made in the crypto business, especially in the crypto influencers business, uh, and maybe that, that's that, that's going to inspire also some of the people to to get into it and also understand how it works. So look, mo most of influencers make money out of um, first. It's going to be. YouTube ads, but like I told you, it's nothing. Then there are sp uh, sponsored videos. I have so many of them on my channel as well. Um, then third, third way is uh, by affiliate link to 
an exchange. And mostly now it's Bybit. Everybody is using Bybit because they have really good commissions. Why, why and they, is that? They, okay. Yeah, they, they pay just really well. And that's why I'm very bullish on this exchange because they have all the influencers. The biggest money is actually in under the affiliate link. And when, when, when is the biggest money made for, for, for you guys? Is it during the bear market or during the bull market? Bull market, of course. Both? Okay, no, bull, uh, bull yeah, market. But bo both, okay. but uh, bull market is of course better. All right. So, w what is it now? When you look at the metrics, like for like the, the all the time that you've been in this business so far, and whatever you know about this business, where are we now for for you? Not not for like the the, the price of Bitcoin or Ethereum. You mean about the how much money I can make? No, you don't need this. to tell us. Like you know, yeah, 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 yeah kind of per percentage percentage wise. What, what do you like? Uh, what yeah. is it now? So, look, for, crypto for, influences we make money whether it's a bear market or it's a bull market, because there are, there will be always projects starting that need a lot of marketing and they will send you an email saying, hello, I want to be promoted on your YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, when, when there is a, a bull market, of course, there is more projects just starting. They send you more proposals. And of course, there's more people trading, day trading, and that's where there's the biggest money. Because um, many people may don't know, but every time when somebody is trading using your link, your affiliate link, um, influencer makes a commission out of it. So let's say uh, there is a big YouTuber and he has like a thousand people um, signed. So who is the bigger? Who, who's the bigger on the buy bit? Is it the, the BitBoy? No, not the BitBoy. Uh, MM Crypto. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what's the, the other guy? Carl, the moon? Those yeah, are like say, the ones yeah, that, I know, that I know. Yeah, I would say Carl the Moon and MM Crypto are the biggest when it comes to Bybit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, so I, that's why they're pushing the videos every day. Obviously, they give a lot of knowledge underneath that. So they, they definitely do give value, but a lot of that is repetition. So the biggest, the biggest money is um, on trading videos because then you get commissions. So I know a couple YouTubers that make 100K per day out of their affiliate links. I won't, I won't tell you like wow. who exactly, but they make hundred K US dollars per, per day out of only Are from, they your friends? From like, uh, yeah, you guys yeah. are friends in the, the business. Okay. Yeah. In, in this business, like all influencers are your friends. If you know them, because of course it's good to share the deals, to share the, the info about some projects, etc. You see, you see how this uh, market looks like there's still a lot of opportunities for, um, people who want to start their YouTube channel. Or so if someone wants to come in, you would see them as competition or you would be kind of welcomed and, 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 and happy to, to have more people because the more people come in, the more people can actually get into the crypto space and then it gets bigger. I would say it doesn't really matter for me because there is still so much space that even if there is one YouTuber, well, like, like, I don't know, hundreds of YouTuber, YouTuber, new YouTubers joining per day, I don't care. Um, at the end of the day, it really matters if you can promote yourself, you could, if you really can become a big guy and, and that's it. So what's your plan now to become, uh, other than the podcast, other than Życie bez Gruchy, uh, you know, podcast shows, uh, what's your plan to, to grow and uh, what, what's your goal now? My goal now is hundred K subscribers, but uh, look, uh, I'm basically in a crypto business and I, I'm not closing. Like, let's say YouTube is 10% of what I do or 20% of what I do. And the rest is um, investing and doing research or many people don't know about I'm in the marketing department for Reef, um, Reef project. Do you know this? Uh, no, you know I didn't know. Yeah, so so tell, it, yeah, tell us, tell us about it. it. It's, um, it's basically um, a project, um, a, a network layer one blockchain, um, but it's, it's like in top 250 um, coins right now on CoinMarketCap. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the, in marketing department. So, um, so that's your job more like a business, I'm, I'm business partnered with, uh, with, your contractor the, with, with them. the CEO. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, um, Got you. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm so bullish on, on this project. Cause there's like a lot of things. So, Tell us about it. So tell, tell us about it. What is, what is Riff and what, what, you know? Yeah. So basically, basically it's L1 blockchain, EVM compatible, but they have, um, like, um, reef pad co coming up very soon, probably in one month, which I'm very bullish on and NFT marketplace. And basically I know the team, I know people b behind this project and that's why I'm very, very bullish on this. Um, but, um, what was the question, sir? 
<laughs> so you see that, that that's when you're young and the whole hormones are buzzing because you're thinking about the, you know, how am I going to get laid tonight? You know, like, la, la, dee, 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 da, da, da. In, uh, by the way, where it's are Friday, you? Yeah, where it's, are you now? it's Friday. Where, where, where are and you now? Because uh, I, I, it's, it's, it's definitely not PM. Poland. It's definitely yeah, not, it's not Poland. It's Mother Island. Mother Island. For for so, so, European people so who probably us, know, but... Where, where is that? And uh, what language do you guys speak in there? And do you speak other languages uh, uh, additional to... Polish and, and English. No, Polish, Polish, English, and Ukrainian. I speak because I have some some connections to Ukraine when it comes to my family. But um, yeah, I'm in Mother Island. It's Portuguese island, f- crypto friendly as well, and good weather entire year. So yeah, but but we have the the most dangerous airport in Europe. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> of some crazy winds around the the airport. Oh, so did you have any accidents? Did you have any? Not, not yet. Any, anything? <laughs> not, 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 so you just heard stories? No, last, last accident was like 50 years ago, but actually when, when you land here, mm-hmm. many times you have to land on the airport on the neighbor island or in Tenerife because of the bad weather conditions, yeah. Wow. Okay, so, so that's the only uh, downside when it comes to Madeira. All right. So uh, uh, let, let's, t- let's talk about... Uh, Actually, because because you said that you were growing up, uh, you know, in a kind of relatively, you know, humble environment, humble family. They just, you know, just they they just a normal job, kind of average, right? And uh, and, and so I see now you have a beautiful view. You know, you're young. There's a lot of things happening, and you're in probably the hottest spaces in the world where I'm now transitioning my business also. Uh, into crypto and uh, and like for the last year that's that's been like like you know probably more and more when it comes to it was just growing when it comes to focus on on all on the on the space so uh, how would you compare like the you know the beginning and, and like you know where, where you are now where you know how how, how is that change affecting you so for the sure there is way more stress so now i'm smiling to you now everything's fine yeah but for example, yeah. today I had a really bad day. Like uh, I woke up feeling like I'm not motivated to anything. So this is the truth. Like you have good days and you have really bad days when you don't want to do nothing. But this is the choice. Like when you're, for sure, you you also know this, yeah? Like when you're an entrepreneur, yeah, yeah, where sure, you, you, you choose this way and you have to kind of learn how to deal with all these things, with all these bad moods, etc. Because this is how it looks like. This, this is how you, like you need to learn how to, how to be in this environment, basically. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah. We mentioned about uh, the the project where where you kind of where you do the marketing. Let's talk about your routine because you said eighty percent pretty much of all you do is outside the YouTube business. So what's your what's your routine? So basically, you know how it's in crypto. For for now, the really important thing for me is to get another 100x, another 100x, another 100x until I'm in top 10 richest people in the world. <laughs> That's awesome. No, man. Top oh, 10. Of course. So, so what, what, no, what, just, what would you, what would you need to though. have now? Like, what would you need to have now? Like a uh, hundred billion? Yeah. Net around? Or may, no, maybe like 30, 30 billion something. Only of course, I'm, I'm just joking. Okay. I, yeah. I want to do, I want to no, slow man, down. There's when, no jokes. This is a serious channel. This is Gruha. There's Gruhas, you know? Uh, maybe maybe I'll get there. Has... Let's let's see. Let's see. Currently the, That's a the huge richest goal, guy man. That's amazing. Yeah, currently the richest guy under 30 is um the CEO of FTX, Sam Bankman. Yeah, amazing guy. Crazy, crazy guy. You should you should invite him as well. Yeah, I need to get him on the on the show, you know. And uh, I mean when I just saw I I'll just share with you what I what I learned from all these like billionaires and then by the way, I was just, you know, at the Miami conference, you know, yeah. met very, very wealthy people. How was it? How was it, by you the know, way, the conference? I mean, it was, it was great. Like, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going next year. A lot of people from legacy markets coming in and learning about the space. So when you, when you, if you ask me about the age of, uh, like, the average age, uh, you know, of, like, the attendees, I would say probably around 40, which, you know, normally you would think probably, you know, crypto, younger people are involved, but... Uh, on top of that, it was so vibrant 
um, not only men, so it's not the geeky environment. You could see probably 30% are women either coming with the project to promote really? or the, or yeah, or the women, you know, or they come as partners of the guys. So the guys are bringing, you know, the girls just to look good. Yeah. And <laughs> just look good with yeah, the girl. You know, yeah. It's yeah, a good, it's well, a good marketing well, thing. Yeah. 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 That's why, that's why, you know, they're, they're there, but, uh, but, but it's just amazing that you see that there's more and more women also involved because it makes it more diverse. You know, when it comes to cultures, you know, I met people from uh, Ukraine as well. You know, actually I met, uh, I'll tell you after the show. So I was going around the show, like, uh, you know, stands. I was asking them, you know, who do they do partnerships with? Like, what are the plans? So I'm, I also learned about the market a lot. So you, I could spend three days in there, throw me in there. Not only I have exchanged numbers with, uh, you know, billionaires, so I have access on this phone to billionaires in, you know, uh, which you, that you can text multimillionaires, uh, people that also have a lot of influence. So, so that's amazing. That's, that's why I love those conferences because it gives you access and those people aren't guarded. They're open because it's a new space. They want to learn. We want to learn. And it just makes it all complete. And what I've heard about, like the you know very rich guys, they said, "Man, I just love the energy." And uh, some of them, they like, they told me, "Look, I've not invested yet. I'm just sniffing around, looking w w what's going on because of the you know like Bitcoin, etc." But I wanna like learn about it. Some people were from compliance, just from from compliance, you know, and they from you know regulators. So we all don't like them, but. Uh, I think they're important to, to push it, uh, like push the adoption. So the question to you now, since we're on the, on the sort of, on the regulations, how, how do you deal with your crypto business? Because number one, you have disclaimer, right? You always uh, say that disclaimer yes. that you have to protect, protect yourself and, and also uh, make yeah, people basically aware. Basically when it comes to YouTube videos, you don't have to do anything more. If you, if you, I, I'm not sure even if, if I'm, really forced to, to say people that I'm not a financial advisor, but I do it because it's better if people really know, but it, of course I can tell this, but people will still buy only because I show it. I, there isn't many people like this because I, I know kind of my audience, but tell me what's your hundred X after the Miami conference, what's your next hundred okay. X project that will hundred, you know, yeah. Uh, that's that's a good question like uh, and um when you ask me my 100x projects will be my business and uh that's because i can control it i know when i when, when i know when i go to this place i go to the bitcoin conference and i meet a billionaire i might not do, i might not do the deal now but I, i'm gonna start following up and and i understand i've learned sales uh, you know, uh, prob I'm probably not, you know, not uh, the level but where you I have a be. token. We don't have a token. No, like uh, my token is, you know, it's uh, there you go. You know, so you're giving me some, some ideas. So, so again, like there's a lot of with the business because we're registered in the UK um, and, and then tokens, there's a lot of things that, the, that people don't know that buy tokens and like things like that. They don't know what's going on, like with regulations and, and things behind the scenes. So when I see the small cap projects and some of them, like recently Celsius, for example, did you hear the regulations that, that what they what they said that uh, in the US, uh, the air yeah. account from today, unfortunately, which is we're recording on the 15th of, of April, people in the US, people that are you know non accredited, so so they have less money, right? They m most of them like they, they they have less money than accredited investors. And they cannot earn on their money. So they're being yeah, a slave what, to the bank. Did you see what happened to Celsius? Celsius yeah. token. It, it yeah, completely yeah, dumped. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, not completely, so, right, but it, it dumped after yeah, 30, this news. 30%, so. 30% yeah. I, yeah. I, uh, uh, you know, I, I bought, I bought the dip, but, uh, again, not, not a fine, not, not a financial advice, <laughs> uh, which leads me to another question, by the way. Because you're involved into uh, small cap projects, what do you think about you know a project like like Celsius? I'm very bullish on this. Yeah, I'm very bullish on very Celsius. Bullish. I, yeah, I use Celsius as well. Some people hate you, it because of the. Would you would you buy would you buy the dip now? I I use I just use the platform, but yeah. again, uh, Celsius is what, what's the market cap? For sure, it's in what, like what, I think three, one three? billion. One no, it's I think it's something more like like, like five or something. But but still, you won't no, make. No, it was definitely lower. Yeah. I think yeah. it's one or two billion. Yeah. But still it's in top hundred. So think how much, how many X's you, you can. Used, used to be, yeah. <laughs> At least. Yeah. Used to be. I, th I, th I, th I think it's ago. still in 100. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, but think about how much, how many X's you can make on Celsius comparing to other Probably projects, five, right? Probably 5, 10. Yeah, yeah, but 5 X, 5, 10 X. What is this in crypto? It's, it's nothing. It's nothing, right? <laughs> you, you see, for you. No, basically in crypto, like you, you see the, yeah. you see how I think. Yeah? So, so, so yeah, so guide me, like, uh, let's, let's talk about like the, the, the 30X, I mean, whatever, because to me, what, 2X, that's already a lot. Yeah, because you're a boomer. When it comes to investments. I mean, I'm not a boomer, <laughs> but, uh, but I think I'm, no, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the late millennials, you know? So, so I, I just know in business, like in, in my business, in order to make like, uh, you know, a huge leap it takes a lot of work, man, a lot of discipline, because then you have to maintain all of that. And, uh, but, you know, the, the crypto world is different. So let's say, you know, I have some money and I want to put it into like one of the projects. So, you know, w- what would I do? Do I need to like stir it all day long or like when I, when I put some money? How does it work? No, no, no. I would say just do a lot of research and just... So I, I watch say, your channel, number one. No, I subscribe no, 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 to your no, channel, no, number two. No, no, no. <laughs> definitely people you can, that are you watching. You can, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can. You, but you, they, should, they, they should definitely subscribe to your channel, especially if they, if, you know, they want to multiply their money because you're going you're gonna to show them how to multiply their money and how to get the revenue. So you're getting me excited, my man. No, but now, look, now if you say this, people are really going to believe in influencer, which they, sh- they shouldn't because... Um, you I've said done that couple, at, the, at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, I've done some not really ethical things just to make money as well on YouTube. And I probably will do it. I'm, I'm being honest. Uh, like that's how this, this market looks like. And yeah, and uh, some people won't say this. Some influencers won't say this, but the, the reality but is crazy. that they that, will that, still that, do that, it. If, how much, that's crazy. When, yeah. when, you say, when you say, you know, when you say, hey, I'm there for the money. Don't trust the crypto influencers. But they, yeah. but because you say that, it makes you authentic, you know. Unfortunately, <laughs> how can I be it's so, not, uh, it's so not funny. authentic? <laughs> yeah. So, so, funny, yeah. So the question was how to make the many access, right? Yeah, so I would what say, do I do? So, so let's say you know I'm not involved in the in, in like in this like 30x, 50x, whatever movement. Do I use leverage? What do I do? Do I no, like no, no, look for the project? No, avoid leverage. Avoid leverage. Yeah. Okay, so number yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Avo- we, we're avoiding leverage. Why would yeah. we? Why, why do we avoid leverage? Cause you'll get wrecked. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. And I would say, I would say follow. Um, so would you not be wrecked if you? I, no. If if you, don't if you really want to make like hundred hundred x or two hundred x. What time? You, what time you frame do you like? Uh, yeah, you, it can you, be. You it can be like uh, one month, two month, uh, half a year, two years. It really depends. Right. But the thing is to find really good projects, not too many. Let's say let's say maximum 10 projects per year because if you if you have more projects invested in you really don't know what's happening in in each project which is not what you want to do right like you want to follow the the news you want to see how the project is developing so i would say really look at the team it's really important like this is what i why i invested in meta here why why it did so well because the ceo is rob green um, like you, you had somebody from Codewise on your yeah. We we had Matt Matos yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're amazing team. So they, they were bu- they they were bu- building the business together. So in Krakow yes. back back in Poland, yeah. So number one team, right? So when people look at anything, they need to look at the team, and somehow they need to find a way to navigate that world so they can trust those people. They're not just scammers that they're gonna just take the money and run. That's number yeah. one, right? Okay. And, and look, if there is some, some team that's already created a really good work in project, you can follow them and let's say they're creating another project or let's say they are partnered with another project that's starting that gets you this opportunity and you can think about it. All right, that could be another good opportunity. And because it's, it's safer, right? Let's say this, there is new project partner with project that already worked more likely it's gonna, it's gonna do well. Right. Or let's say mm, there is a project that did a thousand X, like, like Hex. Unbelievable. No, Hex even did like, like 4,000 X, if I'm not mistaken. Did you buy it? Did you buy it? No, unfortunately. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) 
I would, I would be already in. I had um, a guy as well that I met here in Las Vegas and he was talking to me about this Hex project like yeah, over a year ago. What is it now? At If I, if I really? were to buy a year ago... Yeah, the guy oh told me God. like a year ago, he said, you need to buy this Hex. I'm like, no, man, I'm not going to buy. What is that? Uh, and I said, okay, I'm going to look into that. But the guy, literally, be- you know, he was on our podcast, by the way. He was on our podcast. Really? He was on our podcast. Yeah, I, I, I'll send you the link. Maybe I'll connect you guys, you know? It would be like, I think maybe 100x, 200x if you what buy is it, it. What is it one now? I think it was, it was at what, I don't remember, 30? No, now it's on no. uh, 17 it cents. cents. Now it's more 15 cents. So, 15, so look, okay. the, the point is though that Hex did so well and now they're starting Pulse X and Pulse Chain, only projects on Pulse Chain as well. And this, this is entire set of new opportunities. That's how I look at this because the team has already shown that they know what they're doing. That, is it uh, something like Celsius, really well. Celsius X as well? That's kind of like the... No, no, no. no. I, I don't know if you've heard about them. The Celsius, they started the DeFi arm. Yeah, but actually, actually Richard Hart, the CEO of Hex, he doesn't like Celsius because he says yeah, it's yeah, centralized. I, I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I, I have a different different view on this, but... Yeah, what's yeah. your what's your view on all of that? I would like to know. On, on Celsius? Like I, Celsius versus Hex and like uh, how, how it, yeah. like, you know. So so platforms like Celsius, uh, what, what is there, Nexo, um, mm-hmm. BlockFi, etc. They're cetera. centralized. Yeah, th- they are. But so, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really that scared to use it. Actually, I'm, um, I feel quite safe using those platforms because because uh, if you if you do all these uh, security things. You, you you should be fine. Of course, there is a risk that, uh, that somebody hacks it and your funds are gone. But I'm I'm not really afraid to use it. But uh, yeah, of course, it's way better to to invest in small caps and make hundred x. But instead of seven uh, percent, which which is still great comparing to uh, comparing so to how fiat much money? How much how much money? Like uh, okay, we're gonna do ten x. But do I just take all my money that I've earned and I put into no, this uh, like yes, small? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I wouldn't and, do that, and, right? So and how, take it from you, your from your would, friends as well. Would, yeah, exactly. So how would you teach me, like, uh, how do I manage my, uh, you know, like, uh, investment like that? I really don't like to to tell this, but because, uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. How, but how do you do? How how do you do it? Like, uh, uh, obviously, I would not. say, I would say, depending where you are, but if you have like um, 10k USD, if you're just starting, I would say invest. Um, like 80, 90% in small caps. And then, uh, after a couple months, let's say one project is doing, uh, 30 X, you take 50, 50% out or 90% out. You leave the, the moon mark, moon back for, um, another couple of years or depending on how it goes. And then you're trying to find another really big potential project and invest in this one. But another time you invest hundred K or or 50k and this is how it goes right so so you, you kind of you start smaller and then what you know what, once you get your return you go for you look for another deal yeah but then you go you, you are at the point where you already have some money i would secure it mm-hmm. i would secure it because in small caps like i said you, you always can be so how do you secure your money so like of what course, do you mean you put it would, in the bitcoin or you, you keep it as usdc yeah i would say i would say stable coins I would say a saving cost, but okay. I'm fine. I would, Bitcoin is a good choice as well. Like you just basically put this in something more secure than small caps, or you just uh, cash it to USD or or something. Up to you. Right. So so there is a lot of details. So I'm not gonna go into them because all of those details can be uh, like uh, I can go and watch your videos right on YouTube, and that's where I'm gonna learn your your approach and how you do it. Let's say yeah. <laughs> so what, what what do we what do we learn like uh, from your videos? Because I watched so, a few. Yeah. So let, mm-hmm. so let's say if you're just starting and you 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 see my video, like you will not know what's happening because you gotta get some some knowledge before watching my videos. For example, how to operate with uh, exchanges, your wallet, and other things to invest in these projects. But if you're already quite experienced with doing all of that, you can like search for a project or um, find an 
small cap and invest. Got you. Yeah. And so, so number one is the setup, right? Like I would need to learn how to set up all the wallets, how to do, um, uh, how to register on those exchanges. Uh, and then, and then after that, I would go and I have to learn about like uh, a few projects in the, like the, the small caps yeah. and, uh, where and it, to, where to. it can be really overwhelming. Don't you think so? Like this, this very starting, yeah, yeah. like when I was starting, I was like, what is this? Like, do I really need to learn all of that just to invest in one project, like setting up all these things? Yeah. Don't you think so? And in my opinion, there is still so much space to make it easier for the masses, like when it comes to crypto adoption. And how, how often do you check your uh, ch ch check the prices? Basically, I, um, I'm at such point that I don't have to do it every day. And if if you have to check prices every day and instead of living your life, like what's the, what's mm -hmm. the point of this? You see, like I check the price, uh, I don't know, once per, per couple of days. Cause, cause if you do, wow, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the prices all the time, man. Yeah. I'm the price checker. I'm like, what's the, what's my price today? What's my price? I need my price. Give me the price. It's like in business, you know, like give me the report. I need to see, you know, where, where yeah, but know. if, if, if you're, invested in the in the team and you really believe in the project like you don't have to check it every day you just yeah. you just leave it for a year or, or, or something and got you would you would you say that uh, the time in the market uh, that's what matters like the, how much time you have in the market or sometimes like you know it's a month mm. and you're like okay i'm gonna exit yeah now. yeah it's more like like this more like like depend really depending on the project really depending on the project. So sometimes you can leave it for a year if you if you believe, sometimes for five years. I know people are doing um, like staking for f five years in, in Hex, um, which is quite crazy for me, but uh, but but it's all right. If you believe in a project and, and you wanna get crazy API, it's fine. Crypto Costa, thank you for your time. I have one question before we go. So, so you have a guy like me, kind of late, I would say millennial, and uh, I invested in real estate. I have my business, uh, you know, uh, I did a bit of stock investing, which I don't like. Uh, I mean, I prefer crypto, of, of course. Um, uh, but, uh, but still, when someone tells me that we can do 30x, you know, 100x, because I've not experienced that in the crypto world. I, ha I haven't, like, I, I bought some Bitcoin in 2018. I sold it. I saw, I made some money and I sold it. I kept, you know, some Ethereum. So that, you know, I did maybe have, you know, five eggs or something like that. That was my probably, you know, biggest or, uh, uh, but um, when I talk to a guy like you, very young, young hustler, would you invest into anything else rather than crypto? Do you invest your money into like, obviously you invest in your business, like you have to buy equipment, you have to buy a microphone, you have to buy a trip, you invest in yourself because you've traveled and you, like you understand that. So we like, other than that, would you look into other asset classes right now? Yeah. Do you even would, think about it? I would, cause you know how it is in crypto, like it's not stable. So one day, if you really want to secure yourself, if you get to the point that you're, you have some money, you want to secure yourself and, and let's say you want to invest in, you could invest in a real estate. And that's my, my goal now as well. Like just to secure yourself and to have something physical instead of on all the time operating into crypto, cause it gets you a lot of stress as well. If you're hundred percent in, in crypto, uh, when it comes to stocks, nice, but, uh, you know, it's difficult to, it's way more difficult. It's way more difficult to, to make hundred X in, in stocks instead of comparing to, to crypto. Right. And, uh, but actually I started with, uh, I started my journey with investing, um, in forex and stocks so wow. it was back when i was 18 on my 18th birthday i i've registered on some uh brokers some forex brokers or and and i started investing like this and wow. yeah so that was the question yeah like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i would i would say yeah. um i would say crypto that's the biggest op opportunity currently but you gotta be open-minded as well you know because we never know what's going to happen in um, five years. Maybe there's going to be something better than crypto and you're going to have to, boom, switch to switch to that. Right. So you constantly uh, keep your tap dancing shoes on just to make sure that 
you're 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 in the game and now now you're looking to to get into something like uh, harder so so you, it's it's on your map to get some sort of re- real estate and then yeah and, exactly and then put your like uh, profit from yeah from, and, from and the crypto in, world except from this of course if you, if you have your business invest in this cuz yeah crypto- that's why that's what i said like when you asked me about the project like to me cuz i can control that i know when i wake up how many people i need to call i know how the, how many people i can hire i know i can scale that business you know obviously it's dependent on me and on our team but we can control that and then and you can get very good returns with the business you know very very good returns like amazing and it can be predictable that's also amazing that you can ha- create a system in business that you can predict hey i'm going to make this much money and then cash flows every month you know it's not like with crypto there's there's less stress and there's still a lot of kind of upside um, exactly. but you can combine that so when i combined because i was all in business and like first i invested into myself like probably first 100,000 that i've ever earned everything i put into myself i bought myself you know a white shirt I went I, my, my team like first 100k, 100K in, USD how, you know? how could you put 100k in in yourself oh like uh, that's just <laughs> like uh, you know like, like like the first money that I've ever made that's what I yeah mean. yeah but but like that's every, that, every, but like, that's too much to invest in yourself no I think in that's not teeth. too much I think uh, how much you spent on your on your teeth no 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 <laughs> it's not just the teeth you know? I'm just I'm just joking I'm just joking no 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 but uh, it was just part of it so I would hire a photographer to maybe you know take a, a few photos, you know, I would write the book because that was my dream. You know, I wanted to invest in me. The book is not for the business. That's for me. Right. So I would go, um, uh, hire a personal trainer in the gym to teach me that, you know, how to, how to train because I was, you know, weak and, you know, my body was kind of, you know, nimble. So, uh, um, so I would do all those things. I would, I would travel like you did. And then, you know, I would go to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, I would go to China, I would go to US, you know, and I would fly. Uh, I had a guy, my, my friend, very good friend, because of the people. I would invest in relationships as well. That's part of it. So I would go and fly first class from London and let's say San Francisco. And I would experience that. Just experience, you know. Not I'm not saying that's a good investment. I wouldn't do it now at this point where I am in my life. So I would invest all of that money into business and I would just fly, you know, coach. Um, so just minimize the, the like right now. But initially everything would be like into me. And then when I've discovered, okay, now business, and now what do I do when we have like, you know, like when we have excessive money, what do we do? So I've discovered that I'm not going to go into real estate, although I sold my real estate back in Poland that I invested in, made some profit. And uh, I'm like, what do I do with the current lifestyle? As you said, I want to be remote. I want to fly to Madeira, to my friend Crypto Costa tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to have some coffee with my friend Crypto Costa tomorrow. I can do it. I Are you can coming? do it because Are you coming tomorrow. I am. I am. I am coming. I am coming. I'm. Uh, I've done my thing here in the US, so so I'm definitely coming. Hey, final words before uh, before we finish. What would you leave our audience with? So I would say just think about like your your future. If you really want to do what everybody or, or what everybody else is doing, or if you want to do what you want to do. And then overcome this uh, this stress, overcome this um, fear. This, this fear, yeah, of, of losing, and and just start grinding. And it's gonna take years. Like it, it took me many years. Like I started when I was fourteen, but you know, it's better to to end up in some some good position earlier than at uh, fifty years old. Because most people start, I don't know, thirty five. If if they even if they even start. That's so what you're I would saying say. basically, st- st- stop playing not to lose, start playing to win. And skip the tutorial and just start playing. <laughs> also, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so basically, st- 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 stop reading the books and, and go into, in, in, get, get into the ring, get into the, get into the game. You're going to get punched yeah. in your face a lot of times, you know, you're going to get punched in your ribs, Boom! you know, exactly. you're going to be punching you all over the place. So... Um, probably they're not gonna, you know, break my glasses so I can still see you. Crypto Costa, thank you for your time. It was, uh, thank you very it was much. my pleasure to, to, to meet you and, uh, I'll, I'll see you in Europe. Pleasure to meet you too as You're well. Awesome guy, man. And, uh, just keep on going. You are, you are. And let me know when you tokenize your business. I want to invest. 
in the hundred thank extra you, reset. Thank you, man. I, I hope I have the, I, I, you know, I, I, I have the money to cover all the fees for the lawyers because there's a lot of it now running around. So, but thank you, thank, thank you, thank you for for your trust and for your time. Appreciate you. Until the next time. Beautiful. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye. Życie bez gruchy. Jedyny życiowy podcast w Polsce stworzony dla geeków.